Here we have a CD4E transmission out of a Ford Escape Mazda Tribute application. This transmission is also used in some of the Mazda passenger cars, some of the Ford passenger cars, Ford Contour. Very uh, common transmission. This transmission has problem with pressure regulation. Uh, this is the valve body. The valve body, as you can see from the explode view here, is a multi-tiered valve body. They have some issues with overpressure conditions. Those overpressure conditions can create damage like this. This is the forward clutch drum. You can see that the snap ring has basically made the drum itself. The pressure has made the drum fail. So the snap ring land that's machined into this sheet metal drum <coughs> basically blows off the end of the drum and you lose forward apply. So uh, way to remedy that, obviously drum needs to be replaced, but you have to also address the pressurized concerns. Uh, this unit has an individual solenoid block assembly. Uh, it has several solenoids on it for pressurized shift solenoids, torque converter lockup solenoid, etc. Uh, another common problem in this transmission, uh, when you have an overpressure condition, is this band here. That band will fail. Uh, the server will apply with such aggressive force uh, that it will actually shear the end of the band off. This particular uh, example did not have a failed band. You can see the gear train in the transmission is fairly small. Cross-sectional area of the gears, you know, very light duty. Uh, differential itself, not that robust, but you know, they seem to work fairly well. Last uh, 100,000 miles or so, this particular example has 78,000 miles and it's failed. So. Not only do you need to replace the drum, but you have to address the pressure rise issues that cause the drum to fail in the first place. And once you do those things, you have a pretty reliable transmission.